beginning, I kind of had a strong sense of, of, of what I wanted the sound to be, this sort of melting pot, hip hop inspired, very sample heavy kind of sound that was fun and, and, and kind of funky. So the procedural generation of the soundtrack is really nice in Beats of Balance because it means that each game has a sort of different soundtrack to it as you place beats on the tower. We, we wanted to create a system that reflected the, the possibility space of the game, which is really, really large because you can stack all these different beasts together, combining different animals to create new animals, migrating animals, doing all this sort of fun stuff. We wanted to create a really diverse soundscape that would, that would capture that. Each time you play the game, you get a slightly different variation, but thematically kind of work together as a, a recognizable sound. You know, we wanted to create a system that uh, would have a lot of, of variety in it, but was not so impossibly huge that we, you know, it would be unruly and we would be unable to, to work with it. The entire game soundtrack runs on a sequencer, um, and the sounds are triggered on that sequencer, so everything has a very tight timing and everything uh, musically works together and rhythmically works together. <laughs> One of the most significant challenges is the actual scale of the game, I think. Whenever you have a game that has a lot of moving parts, like Beasts of Balance does, the hardest thing, from my perspective, is getting lost in the complexity of the system and the complexity of possibility. We're trying to investigate all the nooks and crannies of this system and make sure that it's operating smoothly. One of the other enjoyable parts of making the sound for Beasts of Balance was making everything work as a musical instrument that we didn't have full control over. We, we wanted to keep it light and fun. Um, yeah, <laughs> it's pretty straightforward. <laughs>